Hello YouTube, this is Sentinel HMC bringing you my very first YouTube video. This is a build showcase. This is um, the type of video I'm wanting to do where I show you around a building that I've already finished and uh, talk about it on the way. So this is Hedal Stave Church located in Hedal, Norway. It's the largest stave church in Norway. It's a Norwegian heritage site. Um, I really like this building. This is actually the very first building I ever made um, as a large building in Minecraft, so I decided to build it again. Um, I've gotten a lot better since, and I wanted to show this as my very first uh, journey on YouTube. So, the first thing I want to talk about with this building is it's very mathematical. It's it's very um, formulated. So the first thing to do when building something like this is to figure out how wide you need to make all the walls, how long to make them, so that you can get it the right size. And the way I did that on this building is with these windows. If I come around here, you can see more windows. Is that this? Since this church has all these windows along it, I, I counted the windows and then just used that for the sides um, to decide how long these walls had to be. And it's a very simple window design. It's just a fence, a full block, and a half slab on the top of the block. Creates this slightly rounded effect. And if you leave it like this, you've got this nice semi-enclosed but uh, open air look that isn't quite to reality because in reality there's like a mesh uh, material uh, in these windows, but there's no way to do that in Minecraft with making it look right. It doesn't look good with uh, a fence in between and it doesn't look good with iron bars that just look terrible. So that's what we have. So this building has three roofs, technically three levels. This level of roof goes all the way around, this level of roof goes all the way around, and then this is the highest roof that just covers this uh, top portion because this part is, is lower down. Then you have the spires on top. All these roofs follow a one by one pattern, so these roofs go in one and up one, uh, standard gable, and then up at the top you have these roofs that go up uh, two and in one because when you have a spire like that it looks a lot better when it's steeper. Um, if I had made those the same way as these roofs, those would look too flat. And that's just a trick with Minecraft. You kind of have to trick your senses. Uh, even though in reality, those roofs are, do seem to have like a very similar angle, um, that looks a lot better. So if we come around here to the door, you, you, you'll probably have noticed this. This roof goes up one and in, up two, excuse me, and in one as well because it puts more height on the entrance and it makes it look better. Um, this part is higher up on that roof and it, makes it, it gives it a nicer look. Um, at least I think it gives it a nicer look. So you look here at this doorway and you'll notice these awesome logs. These are the pine logs, just standard pine logs in this texture pack. Um, this texture pack being the derivation RPG texture pack. Uh, it's a, I believe it's a 64-bit, 64x, um, not bit, texture pack um, by Levant. It's really, really awesome. I really like it. Um, I'll put a link in the description to the video that uh, showed me this, which was a video by MC Crawl and Jack Thunder. It was a no BS texture pack review that they did of this texture pack. That's how I found it, and I really like it. So a shout out to them. They make awesome texture pack reviews. They make awesome videos. So definitely check them out if you don't know them already. Um, so you'll also notice these planks. These are just uh, spruce planks. This the texture pack does support connected textures. Um, so I have Optifine running with connected textures, and that creates it. It makes these planks attach to each other um, when you're when they're going vertical or horizontal to create this sort of a grain um, and it's really good for framing things so I just you'll, I just love how that looks on top there so um, without talking anymore we'll go inside these doors open out because they do that's how they open in reality so coming in here you'll see this nice doorway now the interior of this building is is not very realistic to the real building because I couldn't find very many pictures of it at all um, it does have a stone floor but it's more of a flagstone floor but cobblestone is the best we have here and, um, and then I just decorated the stuff the way I how I thought looked nice without adding too much flash onto these walls so you'll notice the oak this is oak uh, log for all these support beams then you have the oak planks which have CTM so they have those randomized lines and them to make them look more interesting then you have the pine logs again and this pine planks and you'll see again there how these pine planks align themselves uh, I think it looks really really nice and then these stairs just sort of break up the wall um, give your eyes something to look at and kind of add a slight curved effect to this door uh, doorway if you can see that um, here we have torches and I like putting torches um, like this with a item frame behind them 
a cobblestone wall and then you rotate the cobblestone wall in the frame and it makes it look like a torch bracket and I really like doing that on my torches just because it, it gives it makes them a lot more interesting than just having a torch slapped on the wall so when I'm not sticking torches on top of posts or on top of fences or cobblestone walls I generally put them like that so coming around to the front we'll go inside the ver front entrance so you can get the full effect nice carpet red carpet and look at the size of this room it's got a very very high ceiling um, all these support pillars uh, it looks I think it looks really cool um, just a big huge grand hallway um, grand hall um, right now it's a church of course so we have nine rows of pews on each side like in reality and I use trap doors on the sides because I think it looks a lot better than using um, signs or item frames because it fills the whole block um, it's it's a shame that they're not the same color, but I wanted to use birch for the pews because it made them stick out from the floor. Otherwise, the pews kind of look like part of the floor. So let's talk about the upper area of this roof before we go on further. You'll notice the um, let me fly up here. Notice these lights. I really I like these lights. Um, it's a redstone lamp. Then it's stairs all around, fences all around lever in the middle and then half slabs in this pattern and because you won't ever be able to see up there unless you can fly it doesn't matter that you can see the lever because um, you wouldn't have known about it unless, I've, un unless I showed you then you'll see up here rather than terminate these fence posts at the support beam I built this little thing around it kinda like a, a caliper or whatever you want to call it uh, it gives it more structure and makes it look like these um, chandeliers are actually secured to the beam rather than just sort of floating there um, makes it more bulky, uh, fills some space. Um, I enjoy it. So we've got the A-frames in the the roof, and these windows. These are the windows that are on the third uh, floor. They're here to let in light. Um, is their only purpose, and they do that quite well. And they look they look pretty nice up there. So you'll notice the birch wood here. This is one of the other places I used birch. Um, I like the birch in this texture pack. The birch wood has a square pattern on it, so it's not that great for um, for building out of. But when you're using f uh, stairs and slabs it uh, just has this plank pattern and it looks really nice so that gave it a different color and separated it from the planks above it on the real church these openings have an X pattern in them but you can't do that in Minecraft because of uh, well the small size of the space so I use fences instead it gives it a similar um, look where it sort of puts something there but you can still see through it so if I come back down I'll we'll walk forward here you'll notice that this wall continues across it breaks up the view it, it breaks up the um, the space in there and I like that so this area is raised up um, there were no pictures of this area Th there's one picture of this area of the church and it was taken from way back here so very little to go off of for this area I just put some fences down um, and put this here uh, there was sort of a shrine at the back of this church. I don't know what it is, so if you know about Norwegian churches or whatever denomination this church is and you know what that sort of uh, piece of furniture in the back here is, uh, drop a comment on me because um, I'm not really very well versed uh, as far as that goes, but I built something to put here kind of my attempt to build a little shrine uh, with a gold block. It's got a face on it so it kind of looks interesting, a beacon on top. But the beacon doesn't work of course because there's no hole in the roof. Um, but that would look terrible so I didn't do it. And these are ender portals with eyes of ender in them. So if we come around here, this is the pulpit. Um, so the priest will stand up here when he delivers his sermons. Um, there's a bit of a pillar here, but you can't have everything, can you? So if we come back out here, I'll briefly talk about this. Oh, that steps up um, on the outside here, which kind of looks nice. Um, the pine logs. No, nowhere else you'll notice has these pine logs, I mean pine planks across the bottom. But since this wall was just a big flat wall and because I didn't want to put anything in this wall that isn't there in the real wall and since I didn't have any pictures of this I just broke it up with some uh, pine planks I think it works especially because the pine planks align themselves like this and it, it breaks the wall into uh, two chunks that give your eye more to look at and even though there's nothing even though it's just a flat wall it still looks alright at least I think it still looks alright now, I want to briefly mention here that I'm going to be uploading this building, the world file, to Planet Minecraft on the Sentinel HMC um, account. I'll be linking in the description uh, the link for that once I have it uploaded. I'm not sure which will come first, 
uh, whether that'll be uploaded before this video goes live or whether this video will be up before the building is uploaded. If that's the case, then just hold on. I'll uh, Once I've updated the description with that link, that means it'll, it's up. So if, this, if the link's already in the description, it means that it's up for download on Planet Minecraft. Um, I encourage you all to go and download it. Um, use it for something. I don't know. It's a perfectly well-generated world outside, so you could use it as a survival world if you wanted to. You already have a house. Now, of course I'm on peaceful. I don't know if this building is lit up enough to stop monsters from spawning. I really don't think it is, especially these dark corners. So if you are going to use it um, in anything that's going to have monsters spawning, you're probably going to have to light this place up a bit, a bit more. But as far as the aesthetics of the building look, having some dark corners um, is a good thing. You don't want to light everything because you don't have any shadows then. These shadows in the corner, <coughs> at least in my opinion, make this lit area look a lot nicer. Um, it's just so warm in here with all the warm wood tones, the warm carpet, the warm lights. Um, it's really warm in here, just color-wise. So go ahead and download this off Planet Minecraft. Do whatever you want with it. If you do use it on a server, go right ahead. Use it for whatever you need. Um, but do give me credit uh, if you're going to put this up somewhere that other people are going to be able to see it. Don't try and take credit for it yourself. Or, you know, whatever. Go ahead and build your own version of this. It's a really fun building to try. There's a lot of pictures of the exterior on you on Google Images. And um, it's actually easier than you might think uh, to build this. So it does take a while, but it's worth it. I really like the shape of this building. It looks great. Um, you don't even have to build the whole thing if you don't want to. Build this part. Um, so what else is there to mention before I go? Um, Planet Minecraft. Oh, I want to give a shout out um, to Jamzy Boy Minecraft. Um, I've been watching his videos for quite a while, and uh, that's really why I decided to start this YouTube channel because um, it looks like a lot of fun. So a shout out to Jamzy Boy. I get a lot of inspiration from him, so you'll probably see a lot of builds from me that have elements of uh, builds that he's done. And if you're not subscribed to him, you really need to because he's a much better builder than I am. So if you're going to subscribe to me, you should probably subscribe to him. Another, also, a shout-out to uh, Thorin. Um, he's also got a Minecraft YouTube channel. I also think he's better than me. So if you're going to subscribe to me, subscribe to him, too. He builds awesome medieval things. He's currently working on a medieval castle, so definitely go ahead and check him out. Um, what am I working on next? I basically want to mention the kind of videos I'm going to be putting up here. It's not just going to be these style of videos, though I, I am going to produce a lot of these because they're easy to make. They're... Um, quick to record, only takes about 15 minutes. So once, uh, uh, those will probably be, probably be the most common videos you'll see f uh, on my channel is these where I've already built it and I'll just show you around. I'm also planning on doing some time lapses, so definitely stay tuned for that, although if I am going to be doing a time lapse, it's going to delay other videos, it's going to take longer to come out, so maybe a time lapse is going to take a whole month, so um, definitely not going to be as frequent if I do a time lapse, but I'll still try and get out one or two of these videos. Um, this style of video, I can probably do one per week. Um, maybe one per two weeks uh, until I get in, really get into the swing of it because these are easy to do. The builds don't take all that long, maybe a day. And uh, this took about uh, four or five hours to build. So those will be the most common videos on the channel. Let me know if you like these videos where I show you around and then babble incessantly at you. <laughs> no, just kidding. Although I kind of am right now. But let me know if you like this style of video because I do. Um, it's easy for me to do and uh, it shows off the builds really nicely. So definitely stay tuned. Uh, like, favorite, subscribe to me if you want to see more of this. Um, this is my first time on YouTube, my kickoff for my YouTube channel. So it might take some time for me to really get into it. But once I do, you'll definitely see mo a lot more videos from me. Uh, things like Let's Builds, definitely going to do a couple of those. Um, building tutorials on any of these build showcases that I do. If you want a tutorial on the, uh, bu the building, let me know. If I get enough requests, I'll totally do a tutorial. Um, it won't be building the thing all the way through because I like to build larger buildings, so that would take a long time. But tutorials on things like this... Um, structure up here, this part here, this thing, or general tutorials and things like this are totally, um, totally possible. So you can expect a lot of different content from me, but it's mostly going to be about building because that's really what I like to do. Um, if you want to see a Let's 
play of survival. I probably won't be doing a vanilla survival if I do do a let's play because I just find vanilla boring. Um, I like to build in vanilla uh, well, quite often. Um, the limited palette compared to a modded version makes you think more about how you use your blocks. But I will be doing some modded builds. Um, probably some Feed the Beast builds. Um, pretty soon here, I'll probably be uploading a one of these uh, build showcases about a Tekkit build that I'm doing. Uh, that Tekkit build that I'm be doing for um, Finbar Hawks. He has a build competition going on right now. So um, I've been working on that for a while. That video will be up at some point. And um, also subscribe to Finbar. Finbar is really awesome. He makes some great videos, great content. Uh, he's a he's a great builder. Um, compared to this building, the stuff he builds is a lot more complex. Um, I like this building though, it's really tall, has nice lines. So, uh, definitely stay tuned if you like medieval builds. Um, I can al I'm also planning on doing some modern builds. I've done some modern builds in the past, um, but I generally like to build large things like this. So uh, if you want to see large buildings, subscribe to me. Uh, if you want to see small buildings, uh, give me some suggestions. I love suggestions, so suggest something you want me to build in the comments, and uh, I'll totally, uh, totally do that. Um, smaller buildings are definitely going to allow me to produce more of these videos um, more frequently, but I might not even have a frequent, a, uh, a regular upload schedule. I'll just upload when I get videos done. So with, uh, I've been babbling for far too long now, so uh, check out Planet Minecraft, check out all those guys' uh, YouTubes, I'll put links in the description to everyone I've mentioned in this video. They all deserve your likes more than I do. So um, if you like my video, then uh, subscribe, and uh, I look forward to having your views and making more content for you guys to enjoy. Sentinel H, signing out.